the morning. Mm. April 242014, this one, one and a half years old male hamster had a swelling below the right eye and uh, now you can see that the uh, hamster has recovered from the surgery, anesthetic and surgery so it's very hard to hold but basically you can see from here the swelling actually were three lumps and uh, they were abscessed, I would say they are subcutaneous lumps and uh, infected subcutaneous lumps and they were removed and also he had one lump on the on the toe it's called the digit 2 this lump has been uh, removed by amputating the toe now you can see here the toe is here actually now let me hold the hamster first now you see the toe now he's quite strong so you will just leave him on his natural state now you can see the stitch has been the lump has been removed, the three lumps and the and the Dr. Dana has stitched up with five zero absorbable stitches. You can see from there? Okay, so it's no more swollen as early on before surgery. Did you manage to get it? Oh mm. he beat me already. Okay, so wait so the yeah, hamsters are very mobile, so it's very difficult to to actually uh, hold them. But uh, let me just put, put here to weigh him. Huh? Okay, let me see the weight. But I just focus on. He's 63 grams, 62 grams yeah, after operation. Now the best best way to to to, to video the hamster is alone by himself. Yeah. And uh, you, you can see the stitches, 5-0, as solvable stitches. Two stitches were put in after removal of that uh, lumps under the under the cheek skin. Uh. And uh, overall, he's recovered very fast. Anesthetic given was Zoletail, two drops IM. Now, hamsters always throw out the seeds when they are disturbed. So this is quite a common, common phenomenon whereby they really draw the seeds. Okay, in summary, in summary, they were not real abscesses, they were they were subcutaneous tumors which are infected, as you can see, that uh, those yellow stuff are like pimples and they are they are really uh, abscessed tumor, I call it abscessed tumor. So that's why during the first time when we when we drain the lance abscess, it came back again. Because when we lance abscess, we didn't remove the tumor and the owner came back a second time. This is the second time. And this one, the same thing, there was a, there was a pimple on the toe. So we lance off. This done by Dr. Daniel. And the, the owner complained that the toe is still swollen. So the, the solution is to amputate the toe. Since uh, this lump is growing, uh, hamsters at one and a half years old tend to develop tumors. That's the and it's a quite a common thing. So uh, using Zolitail, I find it very safe. Zolitail 50, two drops IM. It, but it gives you a few seconds huh, for, for 61, 63 gram body weight. Yeah. It gives you about uh, less than three minutes. So you have to really do a fast job, electro excision and uh, amputation and then you will get a hamster who is alive. Otherwise, if you will get a hamster that is dead, there's, there's no point because no matter how, how good your surgery is, a dead hamster is not appreciated by the owners. So overall, you can see he's quite a happy hamster, has excellent appetite. Okay, thanks.